from beyond the horizon. These wild waters dim call to me. They've seen much to chill the blood. A deep hunger. A heart of fire. But them always promise the freedom of the sea. Now, though, a new danger is coming on the tides. Already a change this world to its liking. And if what it wants can't be found, it will take everything. Want to know its name? The one who brought this ruin lie in iron below the feet of the ferryman, trapped for all forever in the sea of the dam. Nobody but its captain may tread below the deck of that ship. That means to learn the truth with your own eyes, you'll have to stow away. But if the ferryman him catch you, your destiny might in there. Still listening? Hmm. Then listen close. All you think you know about your life and death is only the beginning. With your heart still beating, you will see those cursed shows with new eyes. When you raise up the flame of souls, all I can do is show you the way. Seek an adventure in salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you've come to the proper place. But keep a weather eye open, mates, and hold on tight with both hands. If you please. There be squalls ahead, and Davy Jones waiting for them. What don't obey?
that light upon tales of old and ill deeds long past. Dead men tell no
the warnings no heed and set foot in sailor's grave while ye still draw breath at the risk of marooning yourself here for all eternity now that be what i call true pirate courage not like the scurvy sea devils who climb up here and lower me cage i'll make it worth your while watch your step now i'd hate to see you take a tumble Leave me stranded up here. some wings. But ye mustn't give up. Ye see, I happens to know a way to call the very man back to these shores. That's the way. Ah, oh, I can taste me sweet, sweet freedom. Ye took your sweet time, but he is... Oh, me head! 
He's killing me! I've been fearful that the lock might have rusted after all this time. Being that I'm unable to provide my own means of locomotion, you'll have to carry me and make sure your hands are clean. I don't want fingerprints all over me skull. I may not be the pirate I once was, but I can still put the fear into them what knows me. I know you can hear me, ye cowardly curs! Drop what you're doing and get this bridge in order! We've a ferry to catch! I suppose I should tell ye the story. But when we... The night I snuffed out the flame. Aye, and the lighthouse keeper too. Ah, oh, new body at last. Not as handsome as me old one, but they say beggars can't be choosers. There, it's just like sailing a sloop. Ye never forget how. Now, let's see if we can't find some clue as to set this place ablaze once more. First, see if you can't light the brazier with that fancy flame of yours. Of course, lighting up the town is all well and good, but you'll need to point your flame out to sea if we're to call the ferry. the way, though I think it looked better in the dark. Now, to get the ferryman's attention. Find no welcome passage on her desk. Those hooded fellers are what you might call in charge around here. And they won't suffer the living to board her. The only way ye'll sail aboard that ship is to stow away. I wonder if their little secrets still be stowed about me. The key to me cabin, after all these years! The Keeper took it when he ratted me out to the others and they set upon me. Me ship'll be a sight for sore sockets, sure enough. But this moldy old body won't last five minutes out there, so I'll need ye to be my transport once again. At least till we reach me ship. Take me to me ship with the red sails, and I'll see ye safely aboard that ferry. Wind. Oh, there she is. Me 
golden head. The fastest ship on the seas. By my reckoning, no one ever dare tell me different. A piece of advice. You always have a secret way back to your own ship. To me, Carthen! parting ways. There's a rowboat over yonder that'll carry you onto the ferry. Quiet as a church mouse. But I wonder, do ye really know what's waiting for ye below her decks? Not all treasure is silver and gold. Me crew are free, and me conscience is clear. But I've still plenty of thinking to do. Perhaps one day, we'll meet again. Now take the key and be off with ye, before ye find yourself trapped here for good. Ye've made an old sea dog happy today. This key's the least I can do. What for ye step? The treasure what cursed me may still be lying about. forsaken place, who have learned the price of breaking the pirate code. You have suffered under the weight of chains forged by your own misdeeds, and now your time is served. Though you shall not fully remember your time in this place, perhaps some remnant of understanding will accompany you when you step through my portal and return to the living world. Perhaps not. And we shall meet here again. For now, we must make sail and quickly. For strange ships now patrol these endless waters, and ours is the longest voyage of all. Stop! The cursed flame you carry has no place within my well of fate. Do not attempt to meddle with power beyond your comprehension. The very secrets are laid bare. I cannot surrender, but I hate you. Do not continue to trespass here, for you do not understand the truth of what you seek. Come on, Tuggy. Come to Jack and get the bone. Come to Jack and get the bone. Good. I know what you're thinking. That dog is never going to move. Therefore, I propose a wager. Let's see if I can lure him over faster. Then you can take the keys from his mouth and let me out. The winner gets this delicious bone.
much to you. Very wise. When endeavouring an escape, silence is generally best. However, as I've had no one but a recalcitrant mutt to talk to for far too long, I shall bow to my collegial nature and introduce myself. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Though, since you came here to rescue me, you probably knew that already. And you must have heard tell of my heroic journey to acquire this the greatest pirate treasure of all. A golden key to other lands, an eternal freedom, plundered from the lair of a heartless squid and used to assist in the daring escape that led me to stand before you now. Shiny, isn't it? Crumb to eat since I got here. I'm not completely sure where here is exactly, but it's sorely lacking in dinner options. I'm a shadow of my former self. Then again, the captain seems a dreary sort of fellow. Probably enjoys dried biscuits. Wouldn't even tell me how I came to be aboard this sad little ship. The last thing I remember was standing at the helm of the Pearl as we made our escape. Suddenly, there was a loud, booming, cannonballing sort of noise. A cannonball, perhaps. And the scenery is not very inspiring, but it's good to stretch my legs. Now, let's get off this ship before. Stay where you are! That happens. You, from the living world. Why have you interfered with my work? The selfish actions of this Barrow have brought catastrophe in his wake. Dire fortune that now threatens to consume the Sea of Thieves itself. That's Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. And I think you may be overreacting just a smidge. I know the true worth of what I possess, and I intend to keep it quite safe. Now. I can see you're very busy and very grumpy, so we'll just be on our way. Silence! You shall be returned to your cell. And this time, the key shall be cast overboard into the abyss. What you possess must never be permitted. Now, you see the money of your actions. Already the sands of time have trickled into oblivion and we are discovered. He has found us! We have our sin now. We cannot flee. Therefore, we must fight! To arms! Steady, mate. That's the Flying Dutchman we're talking about. She's no ordinary ship. Then, upon the waves of my domain, she find herself well manned. The cannons stand ready. Unleash the fury of the dead upon this interloper. That we might put an end to calamity before it begins. I believe that means he'd like it.
Did you not heed my warning? Now Sparrow is lost. And our enemy has the treasure in his grasp to fulfill his dark ambitions and lay siege to the Sea of Thieves. Already his plans are in motion. Deep beneath the waves. You have caused much harm this day. However, you fought bravely. I shall return you and your vessel to the land of the living, so that you may continue to fight. Fight to save all that you have endangered. Bail, and you shall bear witness as this world too falls under the shadow of Davy Jones.